Hey everybody, for today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a long video over multiple games, and I hope to impart onto you the knowledge that you need to carry, not only with Trinmer Top, but any top laner in Season 14. So, in this matchup, I'm playing against York, and the biggest thing, honestly, for Season 14, um, you want to worry about your matchup, of course, but in this case, like, York's a pretty easy matchup for Trind. Like, I, like, even me walking up here like that is forcing the orc off the minions. Because if he goes for a Q on the, on the minion, then I just take a big trade just like that with him. And that's with him uh, queuing me rather than minion. And I just completely dominate him. But let's talk about Season 14. So a lot of things have changed. And you guys might have seen a few of my uh, YouTube videos on my Dreamer channel might have seen some of my Twitch streams, and I'm here to answer a lot of the questions that I have been personally seeing um, over these past couple weeks since the season's come up. First and foremost, do we build team at? When do we build team at? It's probably my most common like, question, because team at it now has an active and is useful on Trent. Here's what I'm gonna say about team at. Team at struggles with Trend. If you do not snowball with the team up, and if you use it just as a way to like get extra farm or like get up like a bad matchup without being like super punished. Oh my god. This guy's just taking the beating. <laughs> Alright, this guy's like one hit. See, it's a Briar jungle. But anyways, uh, if you use team up like that, that's wrong. I personally am only going to use Tima in probably one matchup this season, legitimately, just all the time without even thinking about it, and that matchup is Jax. Every other matchup, it is completely wrong to be wanting to go Tima. Um, going Tima in those matchups is mostly to just get around like a, like a hard laning phase or, or, or something like that, maybe like you fell behind versus like uh, uh, Gragas or something. I might have to get off turret here, by the way. As you if the um, the Briar's here, I just have to get off. Okay, looks like we're good. If she was here, she would have come already, I think. So not looking for a dive. So Briar kind of like bailed the York out of a bad situation, but it's what it is. We counter York going in through level 6, and we, honestly, if he stays here, we just kill him now, too. So, we'll take a look. But yeah, going back to Tima, basically, you're never, you're never going to build that for Kanata, man. Like, Tima, it's really strong, but because when you build Tima, you're delaying the rest of your spikes, ends up being really bad. Like, 1,200 gold to basically, like, set you back. 1,200 gold going towards Kraken, going towards whatever. Like, it's really freaking bad. I promise you, you don't want to do it. Now, people have been asking me, too. Is Trimmer strong in Season 14? And let me tell you this thing. So, you know these grubs up here? Uh, these things that uh, everyone's been talking about, all top winners have been either complaining about or been joyous about me, personally. I'm very joyous about it. Very happy about grubs. Uh, very good for split pushers in general. Oh my god. Wow, that briar was in there. I have a Cossack's jungle, so grubs are going to be hard to get. But yeah, basically, if you can time a reset or pressure on your, on your laner, or you can control your wave in, in relation to the grub timer and you have pressure on your opponent, or you're coming back with a big back, or maybe even get level six for grubs, uh, you can basically win your team the game, or you can get monstrous leads that you couldn't get in previous seasons. Uh, just straight up. So, big benefit of the grubs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this way back, that way you can't just, can't just shove in and reset. I basically get free fury off these things. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this thing out. By the way, if he doesn't have his maiden up, he literally does no damage. 
So this damage that I just took from killing his Maiden, now his Maiden's on a, I believe it's a 160 second cooldown. And his wave's frozen. Yeah, he's in a bad spot. So we can go here, we can go to Grubs, and if the York comes back top, guess what, we just walk up and kill him. He's got no boots. Yep, I'm just gonna walk up and do this. I got W slow. He hasn't died, but look at his HP. Also, look at his wave. I didn't break the freeze, and yeah, he's just in a bad spot, so. It's like they exchange grubs for dragon. Honestly, grubs is always more worth, because grubs grant so much true damage on auto attack. It's freaking insane. But uh, yeah, setting up your wave, setting up um, like a big back, maybe even getting a solo kill, or maybe like you work with your jungler invade the enemy jungler or something or we just get eyes on them bottom like playing for grubs is a major win condition for all season 14 top winners in fact a lot of picks like a lot of early game picks are way stronger in season 14 so i'll be thinking about you know your renekton's your uh maybe like action top or you know things that just like have crazy early game or like a really good in early game skirmishes and fights like before um, level six. But honestly, another way to like win the game, like even if you're playing like, I'm playing a somewhat scaling champion. Not gonna say Trimmer is like super late game. You're, you're mostly playing for a snowballing mid game. Uh, wow, the uh, enemy Briar is in there. But uh, if I can communicate with my team, and if I can tie my back to have, like, good items, then I can dominate a grub fight. And uh, I'm going to be posting a video on my Fox 2 Trimmer channel. Uh, it's going to have a grub hub. Not the grub hub you're thinking about. Uh, thumbnail. So be looking out for that one. That's going to be really fun to watch. But, um, yeah. That was a uh, game taken from, uh, from Hilo of... Uh, me basically coordinating a big back into a big grubs fight where it's like i think i was playing against this riven where the riven was playing extremely passive and you know riven like has so many dashes or whatever it's hard to just force if they're just playing extremely passive well basically we got her out by grubs and then i just slaughtered their whole team it was great and this is in like i think like low masters mmr so yeah, it was uh, it was Grub Hub, baby. Okay. So hitting his maiden, oh, it's like uh, Briars there. Yeah, hitting his maiden does not trigger turn aggro. I'm gonna go to Ghost. A little bit sketch. If I had dodged the um, the the uh, York Z, I've been fine. I'm just gonna put that there so we can know exactly where she's at. Wow, this guy is feeling himself, isn't he? Alright, well, so Briar is basically dead. <laughs> I've got a kill. Xerath doesn't hit those anyways. So I walked up and went to kill the Yorks at Maiden basically force him off there and me and Fizz just eliminated him all right but season 14 okay so you got the grub so I'm resetting before these grubs right now um York he can set up a freeze here but here's the thing at the cost of the freeze he's allowing me to get a big back and he's not getting back himself like look how many items I have and look how many items he has so now we're gonna be playing for these grubs super hard uh grubs soon Communicate with your team. Uh, especially if you can get your support to walk up to Grubs. Uh, that is absolutely massive. Okay. Well, this guy's just dead. <laughs> hey, a free kill for my Fizz. And we get Grubs, baby. Oh, that's uh, our support. Well, my mid laner, or my jungle just died there mid randomly. Return and fight. 
this guy is on one. Yeah, I don't care if I don't have vaults. Uh, because um, Mr. York has not backed, and we press tab, we know that. You know? Like, we saw his items. He didn't have tabbies yet. He just, he's got boots, cough armor, and a corrupting pot, and door and shield. It's just, he's got basically nothing. Right. Got my plating, and we're going, and uh, we're going to get some grubs. So, by the way, if you haven't seen the, like, I know I haven't really talked about the York matchup. I have a whole spreadsheet dedicated to it that I'll be updating very soon. Um, you can go to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash fogfw 2 And if you want access to a spreadsheet, all you gotta do is type extra smart spreadsheet. It's free information, free tool. For you to have info on every single matchup. It was updated last year for last season, but I'm gonna be making an update for this season soon, TM. So be looking forward to that. Um, I've got a bunch of info for matchups there. But essentially with the York matchup, all I'm going to be doing is uh, looking to take out the Maiden. I can take a trade like this. And you see how I... Um, you see how I spun in and I auto-attacked the York and I instantly sidestepped? Yeah, I'm looking to sidestep his E. And then I can, a lot of the times I can strip face tank, especially if I'm ahead, just face tank the Maiden, and then once it's on cooldown, the York has no damage. I am, um, I'm sitting on quite a bit of gold. I don't have vision on Briar as of right now. So gotta be a little bit careful. We saw her right here briefly, that's why I just went in. But yeah, we got all six grubs. Look how much tree damage these things do. So if you want to win in Season 14, um, pick early game champs or know how to play the matchup for your champ so that you can have Pryo or at least um, be in a good spot to fight for grubs, communicate with your team, whatever. It's it's easy. Like, if you get grubs, and even it doesn't even matter about the grubs, as long as you like fight over the grubs and you look to find a way to win that fight, you can end up getting like monstrous early game advantages. Even if you're playing like a scaling team, like yeah, Seraphine mid, you have, uh, you know, maybe you have like a Vayne bot lane or something. The support leaves the Vayne bot lane. Support goes, fights grubs. And that can let the Vayne scale, can let the, you know, the team comp like snowball super early and then because they're scaling, they're split. So, as you can see, we're very objective focused, where we're like, basically everything we're doing is playing around these topside objectives, which are topside objectives basically all the time. So they're grubs at five minutes, and then five minutes after the first grubs die, and then Rift Herald at 14 minutes, and then of course Baron, right? Whereas in previous seasons, there were no objectives really, besides like an eight minute Rift Herald that hardly anyone went for at eight minutes. Most people went for it at like 11 or 12. Man, that Briar is on one. That guy just goes in. He doesn't know anything else. So I'm looking to burn his wall before I spin, if possible. Okay. Well, end up killing her too. Oh, wow. Uh... <laughs> Serious? Fucking cheeseburger, man. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna bore So, if you want to know what the build is for Trinmer Season 14, Kraken, Navori, Rageblade. We talked about team at basically go team at versus Jax. Try to avoid going team at other matchups because it delays your spikes, and play off that. Um, and if you want to know, there is a cheese way of playing Tiamat that can help you get grub control against tank matchups. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see that cheese. Because um, I, I will say there is one more situation for Tiamat. And it requires a little bit of coordination for your team. 
but it can give you massive power spike and basically guarantee you a grubs spike and basically it makes it guaranteed that you're gonna have team at for grubs and that you're gonna have the back and your opponent won't and you're just gonna have a stronger spike than your opponent so let me know in the comments below if you want to see that specifically if you don't carry the way because what this all right i'm buying this thing oh yeah it's season 14 make sure y'all like after you click the rift click towards where you want to dash to by the way i've seen a lot of people especially on like highlight videos just like using the rift and dashing backwards and uh, that's not how you want to do it <laughs> i got other got the rift charge it knocks me back so i can just get out of there all right so going rage play next so we're gonna get our hook round next and uh, call it a day So, throughout the rest of this video, um, here's what I'm going to do. So, I've kind of got the, exp the explanation for how to play Season 14. And we got a, you know, got a pretty solid game, pretty solid matchup, beating up on a York. But for this video, I'm going to be pulling um, some more uh, Hyla videos uh, that I've been playing. And I'm going to pick one so I think you guys will learn a lot from. A lot of informative uh, Hyrule videos where it's like, maybe I don't do more, as much hands-on commentary. It's more like focused on uh, just like gameplay, like strict gameplay. But you guys get to kind of see where I'm going with, uh, you know, a lot of this, um, you know, this talk I'm doing now. So basically, here's what I do after um, 18 minutes. So after like Rift Herald or the whatever, you can see I'm putting Brig Pressure on top. So Inhibs, last season, uh, until like the very last patch, the Inhib turret wasn't worth a whole lot of gold. It's worth now. I would only be pushing this far if I'm this far ahead, by the way. And if I got Grubhub, I got the six Grubs. Please report Blair, it's inting. I don't know. Poor Tim Bobo. He doesn't know he's against the Trinmere God. Okay. Uh, there's Thrash and there's Briar. Honestly, I'll probably look kill them both. By the way, I take Ghost Flash in every game. Um, there's there's a couple of situations where you go Ghost Ignite. Um, you go to Ghost Ignite against Jax. And Ghost Ignite against Aatrox. Oh no, are you? Oh my god. The freaking uh, raptors that the Draven hit with his ulti almost killed me. Oh my god. So yeah, let me explain Ghost Ignite. Um, Ignite Ghost is for matchups where if you don't get a lead, then you're going to have a very rough time playing out the rest of the game and playing the way Trimmer wants to play with Split Push. So, like, against Jax, you go team at, you go Ignite Ghost for, like, early game leads. Because especially if the Jax goes Ignite and you don't take Ignite, um, you have a very hard time trying to snowball in that matchup. Um, and then against Aatrox, uh, Aatrox is hard to 1v1 solo if you don't... Oh, this guy's so lucky. Uh, Aatrox is hard to 1v1 if you don't have Grievous. And you don't want to rush Grievous. You want to rush in a Kraken. You want to rush the Zerks against that matchup. So basically, um, it allows you to have 1v1s against Aatrox um, earlier on. And Aatrox used to be a somewhat hard matchup for us. But ever since taking Ghost Ignite, um, the matchup has become insanely easy. I think I have a 100% win rate in lane against that matchup. Haven't lost against it. Ever since I started taking that setup. Uh, I had one second my ult. That's so sad. This champion does so much damage, man. Like I am I am seven and two, I'm level fifteen, it's level eleven. And the buyer's like one shot on me. I'm like damn. A very feast or famine champ, that one is. It's just the hail of blades with full lethality just owns. Good flash, got Versal. Alright, so next item, probably build Mortal Reminder. So, Kraken. 
Navori Rage Wave. That's your core, right? That is your core items. You're going to want to build it uh, every single game. Um, th then afterwards, you got situational items. Um, you can get Armor Pen, War Doms, Mortal Reminder. They'll also give you your third crit item, so you have 100% crit. And then you can build items like QSS. Um, maybe you can build Play the Rune King if you're against a Scion or Cho'Gath, something with a lot of HP. Um, you can build... Um, you know, sometimes against a Zed, I'll build something like Death Dance. That way the Zed isn't just one-shotting me. Uh, when I'm trying to split push against him. Uh, a lot of different options. But for the most part, like, Kraken, Navori, Rageblade, that's your pop-up items. That's how you're gonna, um, you know, you're gonna go in team fight and you're just gonna destroy the entire enemy team within five seconds. That's how you're gonna do it. Rampage. So we got a dragon coming up in 18 seconds. Got a couple picks. Honestly, I might just go for this inhib. I'm gonna ping my team to go for dragon. So I'm splitting opposite map of where the objective is. And because we got grubs, so we got two people here. I don't have to force. I don't have to force on this. I can probably 1v2. But I don't have to risk the 1v2 because we're obtaining objective for free. So, very important concept to understand. Like, if you're getting objective for free, um, yeah, you, you take that. You take that objective for free. Um, you don't grief your team by trying to, you know, do like a highlight montage, you know, maybe a YouTube moment. Right? You just, you play the map. So here, they can send all five, if I split push right now, they can send all five people at me. Like, and, and Thresh just like open here, they're clearing my wards. I need my team to push and pressure. Oh my god, this uh, Briar is completely out of position. So, we're gonna get a free pick on Briar. This guy is crazy. Like, I have never seen movement like this in my life. I got the big one, that's what matters. Yo, that guy does a lot of damage. Okay, well, Jungler's dead, and I have a Kha'Zix, so I'm down to just do this. They have no idea. Now, the Kha'Zix needs to uh, move forward, that way I can auto, thank you. Nice. Good job, Kha'Zix. Alright. Um, actually... I am, uh, I am one wave away from more Normander, and I don't think I'm really scared of anybody that walks top right now. So, I just need to get that cannon and have more Normander, and then I can reset. He doesn't have a ward here. The mini his ghouls would have followed me if there was a ward in there. Alright, so uh, if you if you want to ask the question, um Hey, should I split top or bottom? Well, honestly, like if they're if your their your opponent's showing on the map, pick the better matchup 1v1. For this game, I don't care who it is. But well, let's say they have um an Akali. On the enemy team. Well, Akali's showing bottom, and let's say you got, um, you know, an Aurelia top lane. I'd rather be against Aurelia than the Akali. So, pick the matchup that's better for you that you can pressure. And if you don't care either way, take a look at objective timers. Um, take a look at the wave state. Is somebody already covering bot? No, well, let's go top. So I'm gonna pressure top. I'm just like sitting here. I don't know where the Briar just uh, ulted to. Looks like she's ulting towards bot. So if you're looking for things to do in the split push, a um, couple tips here. Push and pressure first and foremost. A lot of people forget that split pushing is more than just clearing the minions and then running away. 
Pressure the objective. So I'm gonna push in. And when they send people at me, I scan the map. Okay, so they got Thresh moving up towards me. I'm gonna try to keep my Baron. Yeah, look, look at these guys. They're looking to catch me out, right? Push and pressure. If you can't pressure, you can sit back here. You can ward up the jungle. I don't have any wards right now, so I'm kind of just sitting back here. Uh, you can wait for your team to pressure. Because your teammate pressure, and then they can legit send all five of you. Wow, he flashed back into his wall. You see what I did there? You see how many spins I got? A lot of you guys play Navori Quick Blades because you see me playing it. But then you don't play Navori Quick Blades correctly. When you get your items, especially Rage Blades, spin for damage. That guy is just sprinting at me. Uh, Cossack's turned away for some reason, but... but... Yeah, spin for damage. Once you got your, uh, your items. Because once you get your items, you're so freaking strong. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video. Please take a look at, uh, all the highlights. Uh, really focus in on what I'm doing in each and every game and study it. This is your time to stun me gameplay and look to see how I take advantage of Season 14 and maybe even see some of the mistakes that, that I made and what I could have done better. Let me know in the comments down below what you see that, you would, uh, that you've learned from uh, from this video and from the other games you can be watching. And also, you know, maybe someone else in the comments down below can learn from your insight as well if you want to give some generic tips maybe I didn't touch up on. Maybe you're a master tier trend mirror. You know, or something like that. You want to help, you know, some other people in the YouTube comments? Go ahead and put a comment down below and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. I gotta wait for my sums. When you take blade, win shield. Um, D shield and poke matchups. Doran's played over the matchup. Somehow I have control of the lane. This ribbon's wave management literally terrible. I literally have no sums and can't do anything. Can she proxy a wave at level four? I guess she can. As you wish. You have been slain. I mean, I feel like that's still pretty good for me. So I'm being level, I'm being dove by a level two Nidalee. An enemy has been slain. An it's really fucking weird. Slain.
Did Riven flash? Can someone tell me? I know she ignited. She flashed too. Don't think so? Okay. It's fine. Has been slain. An ally has been slain. Well, I did my best. It's like wave RNG to me. She might get plant, but... Wow, Nidalee is somewhere other than top? That's fucking crazy, man. Holy shit, I didn't think that was possible.
You know, I actually have a pretty good advantage top. I have an 18 CS advantage. I've got a level advantage. And I've got two kills over this ribbon. Even with, like, infinite fucking pressure on me. How do you beat Trinmaris Nasus? If I pay money, will you help me? Um, I mean, I, I can give you a coaching. But, I mean, there's a couple ways. You can go face rush Emacs with, like, D-ring start. Um, what I've seen where it's, like, you basically um, use E just for um, CS, like, wave one. And then you play for, like, Sheen and level six spike to beat Trend. Um, you can build Frozen Heart first item. That's pretty good. Yeah, Qmax, like, standard Nasus, as, I mean, like, he's been played for years, just doesn't work. Gotta be uh, a little bit more creative. Like, just pretend I'm fucking Renekton or Darius or some shit, basically. Holy fuck, that Sunner Sky Damage is kind of crazy. need more than that to beat me, Riven. Alright, W Max sounds fucking terrible. What is this wave clear strat from Riven? That is the worst way I've ever seen a Riven try to clear a wave. Also, are we just not going grubs? Ever? We, we're just straight up giving six grubs, that's fine. Top. Can we even do anything? Why are they both walking away, man? You're two v one right now. Wait, you're you're already so fucking late for grubs. These guys are so bad, by the way. Oh wait, they're mid laners dead too. Alright, sweet. Well, I got a Vori. So she has one item and no tier 2 boots. I'm on tier 2 boots and two items. He didn't say anything, so I don't want to grab him. If he's wanting it, maybe need it for an item. Also, it's Predator Twisted Fate Jungle. Rampage. 
page. I am your worst nightmare. An enemy has been slain. Killing spree. Wow, we're just winning everywhere. Your team has destroyed a turret. Your team has destroyed a turret. Dude, this ribbon player played it so fucking bad, by the way. <laughs> okay, well, I got the freest fucking trade on her. Honestly, she should have ignited and gone all in against me there. Because I wasn't all up too. This will be a slaughter. I mean, the way's frozen against her. Q was point one. No, IBTS thanks for Church Prime and Captain Wessels thanks for Church Prime. Fuck, I was spamming the shit on my Q. I don't know if y'all heard my fucking keyboard right there. That's so fucking unlucky. They're not in grubs yet. I am your worst night. Fight me, bitch.
Oh, I didn't hit all six off that? Dude, if I hit six off that minion, she's just dead. Oh, I'm literally one XP off? I'm 679 now, 680. Dude, oh man, that's so unlucky. Bro, literally one XP off, and that, that bitch was just dead right there. That was great, he was literally fucking faster than me, man. He has no boots, man! Wait, he literally doesn't even have boots! Dude, if Shaco walked up mid right there, the Rolia was so fucking dead. Hey Thaddeus, I'm feeling uh, a little bit better. Got a little bit better night's sleep. Good morning, Sasu. I'm actually so surprised the um, Darius or Atrox is ahead of uh, Darius and CS. I guess Darius used both sums to kill me, so he didn't have him for Atrox. Wait, this guy's almost fucking Oom, by the way. Yeah, if she uses her E, then she can't R. And she can only Q like three times.
Oh, uh, now she could just kill, kill me with just queuing and igniting. I mean, we're getting all the grubs. This guy has no ult, so. Kind of chilling with that. Six void shitters? Oh man, we're about to just wreck this mid turret. I think I just stay here, right? Cause six void grubs is just so broken. Yeah, I just literally get mid turret right here. <laughs> That's so broken, oh my god. Get back, fuck it. Like she could, she could take like one mid play. Dude, she's not even going for the play. She's going for a bot room. Oh yeah, baby, more plates. Gimme, gimme. Okay, so I'm getting another three plates top plus another like solo turret. Yeah, void grubs isn't broken at all, guys. Void grubs aren't just the most broken thing on this fucking planet, like for sure. Void grubs don't just auto win you the game, that's for sure. Holy fuck. So fucking OP. Also, level eight Darius was trying to fight level nine Trinmir with like such a big gold advantage. Like I, have, I almost have my Navori right on top of my Kraken. This guy is like halfway through his first item, and he was thinking he could like fight me. Damn, nice try. I guess he didn't have flash, she had ghost though. <clears throat> How do I see follow? Just click in her name. so fucking strong. I think we've got every objective. We got the dragon, we got all six grubs, so we're about to get the herald.
Roe is heading mid. So I'm just gonna hit up this top one. for about turret. We're gonna take absolutely everything. I am, uh, super fucking fed. Like, I think this is probably the most fed I've been this season. I have, like, I got, like, eight platings. I've done, uh, one, two, three, four, five turrets worth of gold. Uh, four of them solo. I'm 159 CSA team inch, which is, like, at least decent. And I have a fuck ton of kills. Like, my gold count at 19 minutes is just fucking unreal. I have no ult. They had four people chasing me. Okay, there's no way she didn't just fully expect me to just right click her to death, right? Shaco's clone activate its own um, void mites, or is it spawned on the real one still?
Grace fucking insulted, so. It's like the this guy was following me too. Um, what's best in this situation? I probably should just go ice hunter you, right? First ball blade, so I can just shit on turrets. This setup, I'll try going Terminus last. That we can have some armor pen. Hey, actually, you think Terminus or Black Cleaver is better? In all thoughts. Probably Terminus, right? Is it more so? Yeah, I guess I could just overcap on Crate and just say, oh, go fuck. They do have a good bit of healing. My spellblade proc, I'm doing a lot of damage to turrets. I'm not gonna overchase without sums. Three levels above mid. Get mid in him, and then maybe we can. Well, actually, Bob won't kill us solo. We get this for sure. I mean, wasn't it kind of a jungle diff, like jungle and support? Let me get this one in pot. And I gotta kill. 
That's my back. Asshole! Oh no! Bruh! I just got fucking chunked. My bad. Mm, that's technically their ADC, but yeah. You know. Dude, this idiot fucking popped off there. Wait, we should just end. So I gotta play around the fact that Rumble is probably paddling topside. Oh, what the fuck is this path? He's a full camp below Lily, and the Lily just walked him and solo killed him. I got Ruben's exhaust and flash for just my um, just my ghost, and I denied her a whole wave on her turret. So we got a pretty good lead on Riven. What's up, Elias? So 
What's up with the Roman players taking exhaust? I don't know. It was pretty bad, though. They should just take Ignite so they have pressure level 1. Um, Rumble could be topside. Alright, well I still have flash advantage on Ribbon. This ribbon just did, I don't know what. Is she going double cloth armor, by the way? What the hell is this? Is this is the most bitch ribbon build I've ever seen. Like, what the fuck? Also, I guess I should buy a pink ward if this guy. Yeah, he's literally building Warden's Mail on ribbon. <clears throat> Divided Heaven? Bro, I don't know what you're talking about, Saga Lift. What item is he talking about? Divided Heaven. Rumble looks pissed. Oh, I didn't get the plate? Oh my god. I backed off because I saw Rumble, but I should hit one more time.
guy literally went Tabby's Wardens. On Ribbon. Dude, I don't. I can hold ult there because the ribbon went full defense. When like her champion scales with attack damage. Now I have no idea how the fuck she just got three kills after she just got bodied in lane, but ribbon's a lot like Camille in that aspect. They just like randomly get kills and are strong. This guy doesn't even burn my ult because of literally zero damage build. So, like, of course I just can run him down. Like, he has no hope. What does the item do, Saga Lift? Can you, uh, can you explain the item? Maybe it's called something different. Because of the language. Oh my god. Holy shit, that Janna ult? Or Janna Q? Oh my god, man. I've never seen a but like, Janna Q into, like, a full MF ult. Just owned him. Holy fuck. So there's Perfine Hydra, there's Opportunity, there's Cyclosword, Hubris. Which one of these items is it? I mean, it's literally a zero damage ribbon, man. Also, the Rumble has Dark Harvest and not Face Rush. Like, what the fuck is he An thinking? He's against, like, a Lilia, a Tranemir, a Jan like, Janet. Like, he needs that shit. The fuck Elo that I just get myself into? This malignant item on Melzar is fucking broken, by the way. 20 ultimate haste, and it, it reduces magic resist and puts a pool that deals bonus damage under him, which works perfectly with Melzar. Follow my blade. All right, I don't know what my Lily is doing. She should probably just go back home. So you're saying this Sundered Sky item, guaranteed crit, is good on trend. When we can just crit every auto attack instead. I am 
Um. Shut down. <clears throat> Son of lift. Eventually, Melilia will hit a in building. There we go. Is there any way we kill this guy? Wow, I did a lot of damage. That's just auto spin. I'm just gonna grab mountain. Farm this up. Those flash alt now, so I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, actually, let me not do that. I can't go into Nyla because she just gives everyone Jack's Counter Strike.
Sunrise Sky isn't good. Um, so I'll go ahead. It's a uh, it's a fighter item. It's good on Sun Thor's told me he had uh, the fucking new build. Uh, see what he was working with, man. Guy's playing like a little bitch. Holy shit. Set wins level one. But if he doesn't trade back, then he definitely doesn't. See that one coming. This guy is just not respecting. Holy shit, he's just actually walking up to zero HP. Alright, sick. Yeah, I played against the set before, I think. But I think he was playing jungle. I think he was playing Graves Jungle. And his name was Don't Come Top. At least that's what I thought it was. But then he just came top over and over again. But maybe then I thought I was like, oh, it's Don Come Top. Like his name is Don and he comes top. I remember. Is the go-to cleanse goes for Teemo nowadays? No. I'm gonna grab to you, man. So instead of pushing and resetting, he just, um... It's time for uh, us to go grubs, guys. An enemy has been slain. Yes. 
slain an enemy. Oh, I was checking the book against the, the Silas. <clears throat> what killed the Silas? Ignite. So, Silas can steal my ult, but he doesn't steal my Q. So he's going to die to that Ignite shit every fucking time. Yep. So I, I get a counter on Sick. Into battle. I'm just going to reset. Why am I going to team in this matchup to put pressure? Like, a lot of uh, trades you can set, you want to take a bunch of short trades into them, into the all in. <coughs> that way, when you're going into him, like, like to finish him off, um, he doesn't have, like, have fucking blast you with full shield. Although, if he just ends his shield like that, you can just kill him, right? Yeah, so he can't expend his shield like that when I short trade him, or else I can just all win him like that. Oh, shit. I'm so fucking dead if he has protobelt. An enemy has been slain. 
That was so lame. Yeah, I mean, I played it as best as possible, but the dude just like has TP with the move speed. He has flash. It's just I'm dead. Cossack takes grubs at a, such a slow pace. Like, holy shit. I guess I should have helped him. Didn't realize this was going to take him an hour. I guess he has zero isolation the whole time. Oh, he had Kraken. Shut down. I should have gone top. I didn't realize there was coming up. I agree with that one for sure. <laughs> Shut down. <laughs> Why no ignite? You can't ignite him right at the beginning. You have to ignite him. Probably about two seconds after he ults. I am your worst nightmare. So, because he got on my range, I couldn't ignite him. Which was originally my plan, but he just... I mean, he had the silver ult to just sprint out before I could, like, ignite him. I thought the, they were going to go for Rift. Oh, 
been slain. Your team has destroyed the turret. Three mid and two dead, so an enemy has been slain. What ADC doesn't take Ghost Flash nowadays? Holy shit, this guy's a griefer. Was Ignite needed there? Um, I don't know. Those fucking sent it. But I actually want this game. They can go Essence here, right? Rage Blade is better against tankier opponents, but this guy's like giga squishy. Same with Silas, great. Like their whole team's squishy. I mean, I'll probably still build Rage Blade. I'm just gonna build, um, just gonna build SM2 first. I think SM2 will be a cheaper and more powerful spike. Thing.
Good job, team. I think, um, I think Terminus is a bait. I don't need armor pen this game either. Like, they just, for some reason, forget that they need to build armor against Trend. <clears throat> is there some sort of bruiser build with Sun or Sky that makes sense? You know, I, I tried it a couple games with it. Won one game, lost one game. Seems to be super low damage, Peeves. I went Sun Earth Sky Titanic and just dealt zero to Kassante and Trundle. Your team has destroyed a turret. As you wish. Why is it better in Max W over putting points in ult? Because uh, the ult, your ult does the exact same thing whether you put points into it or not. It just lowers cooldown. You don't necessarily need the lower cooldown. Your team has destroyed a turret. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Short for the core. At least we got all three of their things. How satisfying is it to press team at active again? Very. Oh hey, we're about to get Ocean Soul. Is streamer good this season? Very good. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the stream, please follow the stream and turn on the notifications. That way you can know I'm streaming next. I stream every day from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central. saved by the fucking okay so i was about to be a zero ulted i was about to be a zero ulted into their fountain and then the set grabbed me and put me right back out there baby <laughs> oh shit The uh, Malphite's there and the Lux is there. An ally has been slain. Alright, well we know the uh, Mundo went up towards uh, that shit. Actually, mid is like pretty good into us early. Oh, 
Oh, I actually get the kill on him. Alright, I'm just getting back. I'll buy a boot stagger. You got an assist early? Okay, wave's fine. can hit who have died yeah I know that's really close I was like also one hit from death Okay, but like, what was my cane waiting on? Is he... Is he for real? As you wish. Sorry, bro, I lag? The fuck? It would have been one thing if like, I saw like the DC message or something, but I, I, guys, I have a feeling that wasn't lag. Unless it was mental. lost so much there actually oh not Kane uh, action alright well the Malphi is going AP and he's like fucking hard losing versus uh, Mordekaiser so good Really he eat before, like right as I was about to eat.
Well, this action sucks. As you wish. Oh, we're playing with some really bad people. I don't, I don't know what's up with this queue today. So their jungle and support are both covering mid for the out? No, 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 no. I mean, I tried to ping him off that like 10 million times. Like one, the Lux was literally just there. And two, we know action is leading up, so even if we do kill the Mundo, like, if for some reason we, like, mind control him to not just instantly walk towards turret if I walk up, um, action will just revive him, and I'll give up shutdown. need to have flashed the Lux Q. I thought it was coming from the bush. I didn't think it was coming from here. Like, I knew she was there. If I'd flashed it, uh, it would have been sick. Wait, my Varus is going lethality? He's not going AP? Why, man? <coughs> Alright. I mean, as long as he plays well, it should be fun. Actually, I don't need to take this. For some reason, Action is roaming without using his W. I don't know why. Oh, there he goes. Bro, Kane, can you have art him? Who's here? Is it Lux? As you wish. Oh yeah, it was Lux. An ally has been slain. Yeah, honestly, I would be not even surprised if I take a look at these people in their last season plot. Also, I believe Action has flash and I don't, so I don't know if there's a way I can kill him. Like, at least not under turret. I can maybe at least burn his flash without ulting outside of turret. Like, he does some stupid shit like this. Mm. I mean, he's gonna flash to burn my ult, right? It's fine with me. Pretty worth, right? Slain. 
So now he's gonna get like two hits extra on turret. Right. An enemy has been slain. Shut down. My bot lane got fucking owned, man. That being said, it's a fucking Caitlyn, so I'm literally not even worried. Like, if this was a Jin, um, I'd be fucking terrified. An enemy has been slain. Like, something I can, like, anything I built with Lethality. Even if, like, if Caitlyn had built Lethality. Wait, what's... Oh shit, wait. Does Varus deal damage? Oh, it's AP Malphite, that's right. Wait, this Blood Sugar guy, I remember him, man. He was a dog shit Alawi player. Who went literally first item Randuins, and then like still giga lost. Yeah, I remember this guy. An ally has been slain. Okay. I hate that I had to use flash there because somehow um, he got out of my range. Like somehow I wasn't body blocking him. But that's fine. Okay, we're just not gonna play for Dragon, even though I just gotta kill him in mid laner. Fun. I mean, I guess we're. I mean, I hate that we're trading. Like, I just got a free fucking pick. Why does she have Terminus second item? Literally none of us are tanky. <laughs> Bro, what are these builds, man? These guys are so dog. It's so fucking crazy. What the fuck? A Terminus second? Are you serious? Bro, she should just gone fucking Yomu's right there. Or IE. Man, so they actually want to fight by Harold on top of, like, oh man. Oh, we only got five grubs? Sucks. Go secure our red buff. I'm gonna make sure they don't take it. I'm really worried about the enemy team invading right now. Bro, oh, inner Krugs. Oh man, that pesky jungler just went crazy on buff. I'm gonna go push mid, since everyone's fighting topside. Man, we are committed hard to this. An ally has been slain. Okay, so Action went and pushed bottom instead of covering mid. Enemy killing spree. An enemy has been slain. Dude, down. these fights are so fucking wild and all over the place. Like we just fought by like, topside over literally nothing, and it's great. Like it turned out really well for us.
Yo, what are these games cooking this morning? For real? Like, holy shit. I'm not going to be able to see actions movement with my ward unless he forgets to press W like he did this one time here. We're like Prime, Genghis Khan, in their Asia. Into okay, so we're about to pop the fuck off. Oh, can I make it? No, I can't. Oh my god, I would have killed Kane there if I wasn't just devastated by allergies in that moment. Dude, he, fucking allergy diff, he got so lucky. I am your worst oh, did he walk down? Oh, man. Fuck, mate. Hold on. Dude. <laughs> Did we get a cat? No. As you wish. Emmy wishes. Is this guy just still dead? They're so fucking low. Wait, he ulted not the Caitlyn? How are we losing this? Oh wait, we're not. Bruh. Okay, man. Where we are? Okay, I burned some of them and got both our carries to 1 HP. At least we killed the people that I was on. Fuck it. I mean, I, I just don't see the point of this Varus build. Like, don't you do more just by, like, going AP and pressing R than, than E than WQ? Than going with Aldi? Trust him. Should I have trusted him? Okay, Jesus Christ. I thought he was about to have another lag spike there. Shit. Just reset. We got dragon. I think he's dead. Oh my god.
turret has been destroyed. Oh, it's Mundo's Cleavers. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Bro, I thought that was one of Baron's abilities for a second. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why is Rageblade better than Phantom Dancer? Because you can double your Kraken. You can double your um, uh, crits. It's just straight up more damage. Phantom Dancer is more move speed, sure. But when you take ghosts, you typically don't have problems taking down the people. Why'd he go in like that? He just kept running. Bro, if he kept running, then they would have walked in range by spin flash. I mean, Malphite might be right there. I mean, we're at down now, sir. I can't split for uh, split push for a CP mail fight. And I'm just better off in fight with my team. A summoner has disconnected. <laughs> been if we're gonna go in, we have to go action first, or else he just revives this whole thing. I guess I'll split push top. I can't really fight for this next dragon. I don't know if they'll go for it either. Bro, we're getting so many random kills. Like, this game is all kinds of weird. Stop the back? Okay, thank you. I'm gonna push down the wave call. My team's going pretty fucking hard right now. I guess I can just keep going. The Mundo is legitimately chasing the All-Star. Your team has destroyed an enemy. 
I mean, if we pull Malphite up to stop us, that's perfectly fine. And if we don't pull them up, then we just get this shit for free, right? Like, wait, they're not even covered. Dude, these guys are so bad, man. Wait, you look that I just get myself down into, man. The fuck is this? They're not even covering their base. These guys blow. Like, holy shit, man. Uh, like... They were gonna contest? That would have been our second dragon. They entered for that shit instead of covering their base, man. These guys are all terrible. Victory. Like this, if you fall behind, you're totally fine. So I took a big trade with him because he missed his cue. Is Ghost Ignite the meta right now? Uh, I don't think so. It's probably still Ghost Flash. I'm just trying this shit out. See how I like it. Ghost Flash skills better. This is easy. Wow, a jungler that actually knows how to gank top. Let's fucking go. Wait, there are two cannons in this lane right now? What the hell? Have you guys ever seen that at four minutes? Well, because the third and sixth wave cannon was there.
Cancel the crit. I am your worst night. One minion from six. Enemy double kill. An enemy has been slain. Mm, CFTP. Actually, I'm not sure. do not look like it. An ally has been slain. I did no damage. I am your word. has been slain. Enemy ramp. 
rampage. It's end good this game because it gives tenacity. Uh, I mean, I have legend tenacity and I've been punching. So, I'm good. I don't need to dick my damage down with an arm like with end. I could build real items. I mean, that was kind of good for me. I'm kind of huge. That triumph proc was so lucky, but I'll take that. It's more OP new season. Uh, I mean, he's two levels down. I'm bodying him up, but um, yeah, we'll see. I do too much damage. Debbie slow. Pretty sure he has R. Pretty sure he doesn't have TP, so I'm just gonna take this. Good enough. He started in a grub fight? Yep, so did I, though. And he used it well before I did. So he's got Rift Maker. An enemy has been slain. Bro, that can't, that can't be the right. Like, is he gonna go Jack Show now, or what's his build? Oh, what's up, Luzor? Into battle. Killing
Hey, baby. Is this new rift just infinitely tankier or what, man? Holy shit. Is this red buff up? Rampage. Oh man. I am so far ahead of this Mordekaiser, gold value wise. Like, I've got a full, like, two items. Building my third. He's, uh, working into Rylai's, but he's so squishy. too far extended. Devori is fucking OP, man. for this. I'll sell the blade to finish it. Let's just do it. Thanks, babe. I'm 
gonna go armor pen next since he's probably building towards like Randwins or Zanya. Well, he's getting Zanya, so this is gonna be a lot harder to have him now since I uh, fucked up. It's really sad that after 25 minutes, Trin doesn't do damage. Uh, you're wrong. Trin does, like, infinitely more damage this season than previous seasons. Yeah, new season is, like, really fucking fun. Rage Blade's insane. If you're not doing damage after 25 minutes uh, with Trend and you're like, you know, you got a lead or whatever, uh, you're just playing fun. Oh, I fucked up. Uh, I didn't commit enough to the Briar. I thought she died to Ignite. How can we still get crits with Rage Blade? Because Rage Blade's different this season. It no longer converts uh, your crit chance to on hit damage. It just says the bottom out, and that's it. Say LDR or do I need Grievous for this guy? I mean, not really. I was fucking kind of owning him, right? I am your worst. The Twitch really didn't go to red buff. I got turned super low.
Wow, it's past 25 minutes, I'm dealing damage. Holy shit. Oh, I can't believe it. Alright guys, so I'm going to push the first couple waves. I'm up against Nasus, building a little bit of fury. See if I can uh, look to fight him. Didn't really matter with the damage that deal to him like super early. Because he'll heal a lot of it back. Looks like he did start E. It's not going to be E max though, it's going to be Q max. Missed a few minions, which sucks, but wave all the way in. Into battle. And Kane's pathing towards bot. See how this guy's like almost doomed? It's because he's like using his E, but he isn't at present to mind or anything for like mana return. So I'm gonna get this wave in a position where it's like pushing back to me. Alright, I'm using my. That's probably my last Q. I'm gonna just spam push this in. Ghost Ghost. An enemy has been slain. Probably gonna look for a level 5 all in. So he didn't have ghosts, and I had flashing ghosts, so I'm just fucking full setting it. Had the wave in a super good spot. It would have been nicer if my wave was already, like, pre-frozen, but it's fine that it wasn't. I can just push and reset. buy potion. I don't really need it. How many stacks he has? 42. Okay. It's pretty pretty dog shit. Hey, Scraggle Scruff. Thanks for a Truth Prime for 35 months, man. What's the latest favorite build? Um, Kraken, Navori, Rageblade. Pretty sick.
Shut down. I am your worst nightmare. Enemy double kill. Mm, I should pull the back a little bit more. An ally has been slain. Denying minion XP. I denied the cannon and that one minion. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Enemy double kill. An enemy has been slain. Enemy triple kill. My Vega's doing raptors instead of diving top on this fucking gigantic wave is like, man, you're so fucking bad. I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> like, why don't you just think for a second, man? Like, instead of doing this, we could have dove him on this, and then you could have taken all this. Also, is he a... Morning, Topster.
I could, I could kill them, not done. I didn't think that would even be that close. Holy fuck. Wait, this Sundered Sky item is kind of broken. Holy shit. Dude, I honestly didn't think Pantheon had that in him. But he kind of just bodied the fuck out of the Ari. Yep, no whole burgers, batch. <clears throat> An enemy has been slain. I got him on Vori. I'll say wait for some to come back and then I can just go crazy. Yeah, the reason I was able to solo that NASA so easy is because I had three stacked, like, I had three full stacks of Kraken before I even started diving him under turret. Like, he had to wait that out. sums. God, I just cancel motto because with her.
He has malignants? Oh wait, no, that's fucking Ari. He has perfect hydra. Okay. I was like, wait, what the hell? Sweet. We're botting this NASA super hard. Wow! Salt at 873? Alright. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. It just fucking one shot me. He has Dark Harvest, too. Dark Harvest, Draven, one lane. Fucking pathetic. Dark Harvest, Draven, one lane, by the way. Like, that's so pathetic. Alright, well, at least it ended up working out, but... Holy fuck, man. Like, my team's got me real, real tilted with that one. Like, like, why is the, uh... Why is your not teleporting here? Or, like, on the wave? To play around me and sit... So it's got to be your worst. Like he TPs here, like like next to me, and we do so much damage together. We just fucking pop off. Don't even need Vega to do anything. But it's fine. Got rage blades in. Bing chillin'. Yes, Swifty boots. I'm 
just taking my death. Let me uh, not build Fury then. Okay. I feel like it's QSS. Shot on me? Am I? Am I dumb? Did, like, did they ward on top of me? I didn't even see.
killing spree. God, Diego stealing the Fed Raven, just one shot in the Gari is fucking hilarious. Alright. Damn, but that hit from play, maybe we kill him. Raven flash. I mean, all right, game's over. Sick. I got pulled out of my spin, which sucked. And I didn't have QSS on the thing. Fuck, we actually won that game. Thank God, dude. I fucking shit on top so hard. <laughs> 